Saybrook. Oh, Dr. Rice. Hi. Uh, no, no, I am not taking on any more cases right now. Oh, uh, Detective McBain. That's funny. We were just talking about him. Yeah, I will talk to him. Okay. You hear about my discharge? Mind if I come in? Depends. Who are you? You know, if you're insurance, I'm probably not fully covered, so you should throw me out of here now. No, I'm not with the insurance company, I can assure you. Ah, so they sent me a shrink. Yeah, I'm a psychiatrist. I consult here at Landview Hospital. Michael. I'd like to go over a few things with you, if that's okay. Do I have a choice? We all have choices. Ah, you, you get right to it. Have a seat. Okay. Detective McBain. Just tell me what you need to know to get me the hell out of here. I can do that. I need you to tell me what you feel about all of this. <laughs> What's so funny? <sighs> that word, feelings. What about it? Nothing. Forget about it. Oh, let me guess. You don't do feelings. You do facts and clues and theories and you take action, but you have no use for feelings. I'm feeling something right now. Are you always as antagonistic? Actually, I'm really charming once you get to know me. I can't imagine why anyone would bother. So you see, it works out for everyone then. But enough about me. You know, it must take a lot of imagination to tell someone they're nuts, right? Yeah. Same way it takes a lot of imagination to tell someone they're guilty. You don't know what I've seen. You sure as hell haven't seen what these monsters do to their victims, women, children. Let me tell you something about guilt, Lee. <laughs> you were close. Close? Provocation. I get it. You know, I lose it and then you whip out your, uh, your little tape recorder and then you start analyzing me. It's a cute trick. I'm not trying to trick you. Good. It wouldn't work. Okay. Then what will? You don't like my questions and you won't give me answers. My discharge papers will do just fine. I'm sorry, Liz. I can't give you. Can't or won't? Both. Well, why didn't you say so? Get the hell out of my room. Okay. I'll go. But just answer me this first. How long were you in therapy before? Is that what it says in my chart there? That I had to see a doctor because of an incident at work? I haven't seen your chart. But it's obvious you've seen a therapist. You know quite a lot about the process. Oh, I know what a joke it is. Did this work-related incident involve violence? And why should I talk to you about this? Well, if it makes you uncomfortable, don't. I shot someone in the line of duty. Are you prone to violence? Only when people piss me off. <laughs> Are you always this defensive, John? I mean, we're just having a conversation. Lady, I barely talk to people I like. Ah, you're tough. I was trained in interrogation. Next. What are you afraid of? Snakes. And not getting out of here fast enough. Why is that important to you? Well, I was bit once, and um, I got things to do on the outside. You're recovering from major surgery. And again, the food's lousy, and the company's worse. <laughs> well, there is that, isn't there? Yeah. Let's cut to the chase. I know the drill. All right. You know, I say something, you agree with me, and then you go in for the kill after I've loosened up. Is that what your last therapist did? You're easier on the eyes than he was, but the script's the same. Mm. How you feeling, John? Okay. Are you traumatized? No. You gonna kill yourself? Out of some scars and less chest hair. There, are you happy? Not really. You? No, I am not happy. I want to go home. I'm in the middle of the biggest case of my life, and I want to solve it while I still can. I think we should talk about it. No. Can you at least admit that it's important to you? Okay, I admit it. Okay, why? Time to change your dressings? Of the balsamic vinaigrette. Well, I guess I should go. 
Maybe we could talk again sometime. There's no lock on the door. I don't expect any more than you got today. People really think you're charming. Yeah, it must be an acquired taste. Hey, let me ask you something. What are my chances of getting out of here if the psychiatrist won't even give me the thumbs up? No chance at all. Once they call on a psych consult, you're not going anywhere till you pass muster. You know the name of that shrink? Never seen it before. 